previously on Phoenix Wright Duel Destinies. Hey, Paula, what's up, doucheface? Ah! Oh, hi, Mr. Wright. Yeah, hi, you're such a stupid asshole. Ha! Huh? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, it's good talking to you too, Mr. Wright. Uh, my mentor's kind of a dick, but it's okay. Because I'm still Apollo Justice, and I'm always going to be fine. Always going to be fine. <laughs> and now, back to listening to people. April 17th, QB Manor, Fox Chamber. Whoa. Where did all those black feathers and weird tracks come from? Popular opinion seems to be they're from Temataro. I mean, the great evil evil has returned? If it did, I'd be I'd be laughed out of the courthouse trying to indict him. Dumb bird thing. Uh hey, who are you? What are you what are you doing here? It's a crime scene. Ah! Well, hello there. Who are you? Are you with the police? I was kind of I was kinda of half expecting to run to Emma Sky again. Uh I asked for I'm still not really sure yet. Uh ask first, who are you and what are you doing here? On second thought. I'm placing you under arrest for disturbing your crime scene. Uh, under arrest? B -b 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 Save it for the boys back at HQ. Now come quietly or else. I don't want to be late for lunch. Please. Uh, please wait. We're Matema's lawyers. Uh, I'm having a hard time reading this guy. I'm not really sure what to give him, to be honest. Well, why didn't you say so? So you're the lawyers I heard about. Ah, I almost took you two in. You sure were suspicious, though. This is just me. I'm just kind of feeling around for it, all right? I got, I got, got to get a little bit of time sometimes. I don't know how many more times I can be taken, take, being called suspicious in one day. Sorry, we didn't catch your name. Uh, my name is... I'm Bobby Fulbright. Full, Bobby Fulbright, okay. The heroic detective who defends our good sisters from evil. Uh, uh Okay. I already kind of did a heroic voice earlier for that one other guy. Well, maybe maybe that's you then. Maybe you're that guy. Well, or it, well, if, if it isn't, then he, the other guy's dead. So, <laughs> if it, if it is that the other Wolverine-looking guy is actually dead, and he was that wrestler guy, then fine. Then you get that voice, which is which I think is kind of a new voice, and I'm you're gonna be our probably go-to detective this game. Then I'm I'm betting. Does that mean no Emma Sky then? I know Gumshoe. You guys said Gumshoe doesn't actually show up anymore, which is. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Poor Gumshoe. Um, okay, uh, well, that's good. That, cause that's, that, that voice I did was kind of a new one, so I'll, uh, I guess I'll give it to you then. Let's try that again. Uh, the heroic detective who defends our good, good citizens from evil. The champion of justice who comes running whenever you're in need. And my catchphrase, it's injustice we trust. I think that, I think it kind of works. I just have to kind of fine-tune it a bit. Oh boy, this guy's a story and a half. Yeah, that fits you perfectly, doesn't it? So, what can I do for you? Yeah, <laughs> best gate and see. Yeah, he's kind of stared like, like a superhero, isn't he? So it would be okay if we had a look around? Certainly not. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Oh, damn, look at that fucking vein in his hand. Couldn't you make an exception? Cease and desist at once, or we'll have to deal with my little friend here. Oh, goddamn, a gun? Ah, yikes! See what you for is... <laughs> Injustice we trust! Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> oh my god, you're a goofy one, aren't you? You may be Mayor Tenma's attorneys, but you still need authorization to cross a police line. Apollo, let's see if we can change it. Can't change his mind. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. He's as dense as heroes come. <laughs> okay. You're wasting your time and mine. Nobody's crossing this line without authorization. I am a wall of justice, keeping in justice. That will be you at bay. <sighs> I knew it. Look, it's just us and you here, right? Justice and me, you say? That's right. Are you saying that just and I aren't enough to keep you out? Um, what? <laughs> no, silly. We're saying that you're your inspiration in our quest for justice. What? No, it can't be. <laughs> you have him on the ropes now, now, Athena. Go, get him. Um, if we were on the side of justice, would you let us through? B -b -b guarding the crime scene is a part of justice, too. Sure. 
<laughs> sure, but only a bad guy would stand in the way of justice, right? <laughs> Whose justice is the most just here? <laughs> well, we can't have a fair and just trial without a thorough investigation, so... Hmm. Oh, Lady Justice, what would you have me do? I think we really got to him. <laughs> I think his voice seems pretty appropriate for that guy, I think. And, hey, it's something totally different, too. Yeah, I, I think. I don't think I've done a voice like that before. Yeah, he seems pretty neurotic as far as Champions of Justice go. Our pleas for justice must have had a huge impact. It's tying him up in knots. <laughs> now it's our chance to start looking around. After all that, all about, all that about authorized personnel only. Surprisingly easy. At least I didn't get uh, any uh, get any snack use thrown at me. D hmm. Should I stop them or, or let them through? Whose justice is more just? I think he's having an existential crisis. Well, let's get to work. We're supposed to be finding clues related to the crime, right? Right. Search of the crime scene should turn up some evidence we can use at the trial. Let's try viewing the crime scene from a different ang different angles. You know what's hiding? Just around the corner, right? Wait. But how do we go go about changing our perspective? Oh, oh okay. So the arrows are okay. Inside the screen. There's a particular spot you want to examine. Just give it a tap. Okay, let's leave. No stone unturned. No, oh, god damn it. No, how uh, long? Come on, sir. Let's get started. All right. Okay, so I guess we just have, like, scenes that we examine and stuff. I see. Okay, use the D-pad to change around. Hey, that's kind of cool. All right, well, let's have a little look-see here. So this is where Alderman Cubie's body was found. Apparently the murder weapon, a spear, had Mayor Temidus prints on it. That's not good. Never fear, Detective Fulbright is here. Ah! Yikes! Of course, I can't offer you any information on my investigation, so... In the name of justice, I must say goodbye. <laughs> Um, what was that all about? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, does this stuff actually sparkle now? Oh, no, just this thing. What? What is that? Oh shit! No, no, no. Ah, oh, my joystick's kind of sensitive. Ugh. Hmm. What do we have here? Looks like a statue of the Nine-Tailed Fox and Timotaro battling it out. Eek! Careful, Apollo. It's got blood on it. R really? Hey. You're right. What if it's the older alderman's blood? I think the blood after, yeah, the blood of our client. How can you read so calm after seeing all this blood? Well, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this, so. You're no fun at all. At least act surprised or grossed out or something for my first case. I'm already a lawyer. You want me to be an actor too? <laughs> Fox and demon statue at it. All right. Oh, these are the friends that uh, he was talking about, wasn't it? The other guy. Look, a cat with two tails. No such thing. Oh, and this lady has a really long neck. Ah, how funny is that? There's no way a creature like that could ever exist. She'd have a tough time swallowing. Apollo, I bet you were one of those kids who didn't believe in Santa, Santa Claus. What's that got to do with anything? How did you know that? Wow, this is a pricey looking chair. Apparently the mayor was found drugged and unconscious in it. Really? Yeah, when we came here, it was re arrest for murder. Talk about your rude awakenings. So he's the prime suspect in a crime he knows nothing about? That stinks! Oh, poor Mr. Tenma. <laughs> he must be feeling so scared and confused. Paul, it's up to us to save him. It's like she's our own, her own emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I'm not used to moving my scroller over with the, the joystick. These weird tracks must have been made with someone's... When someone stepped into Alder the alderman's blood, maybe the killer inadvertently made them when they were f when they were fleeing. They're pretty big tracks, almost bird-like. The feathers also point to a bird. There must be one big bird, and not the friendly yellow type either. <laughs> not Sesame Street kind. Maybe it's some mutant bird creature. So your theory is a giant mutant bird murdered Alderman Cubie with a spear. It's more plausible than saying a monster yokai did it. Sorry to burst your bubble, but a giant spear-wielding bird is, by definition, a monster. The Forbidden Chamber. They say the demon Tematara was imprisoned in there before his escape. Think we have this door open? It's worth a try. <laughs> oh, it's worth. Er, did I? Did I? Okay. 
It's worth a try. Here, ah, no good. Shut tight. I see a keel. She's pretty hopeless. Injustice, we trust. Hey, yikes! Did I just hear the voice of someone in need? Allow me to fill you in. The store simply will not open. We've tried and tried, but it won't budge. It's an essential part of the cults are found in this manner, so we can't blow it up either. So an unopenable door. Right. According to Miss Jinxie Tenma, it was shut tight when she came across the crime scene. Thanks for the tip, Detective Fulbright. We didn't expect you to be so helpful. <laughs> no! Forget I just said that. <laughs> ah, you're, you're kind of a buffoon, aren't you? I think you're more gumshoe than Enema Sky. So the Forbidden Chamber was shut tight at, at the time of the murder. So like something I better keep in mind. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize. There's a check over the hand now letting you know when you've examined something. Yes! I love that. That is such a nice new addition. Hey, this window opens. Hello! And outside, we have ourselves a steep cliff. The window only opens about six inches. Not enough for anyone to get in and out of. Look, Apollo! There's something caught in the window frame. Looks like gold fur. What a pretty color! It must be from some kind of animal. I wonder what it's doing here. Did Alderman QB have a pet fox? Some further was found at the scene of crimes, long and soft. Here's be from some sort of animal. Oh, we got a vent in the ceiling too. Oh, it looks like an air vent. It's pretty high up there. What if we got a running start and jumped? I doubt even a high jumper can make can make it. Ah! Don't rule it out before you try it. Besides, I'm an excellent jumper. Even so, that'd be about nine feet high. Like I said, you don't know until you try, Munch. For sure, just, 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 justice. She doesn't know when to give up and when to stop using foreign words. Uh -huh. Doesn't Stanuki statue remind you of the the manners caretaker Phineas Filch? Uh, this raccoon-looking thing. Yeah, it does look like him. Oh, I just got the best idea. I should knock it over. I might transform back into Mr. Filch. N Mr. Filch is mischievous, but he's not magical, you know. Way to waste a brilliant idea, Apollo. <laughs> Look, trophies. Ooh, this one was awarded to Alderman QB. The Amazing Nine Tails Yokai Div, Div winner, Tenma Town Pro Wrestling Tournament. Yokai Division? I didn't know you could have a division of one. <laughs> Apollo, you, you should enter the tournament next time. I have the perfect name for you. The Mysterious Firebrand. A mild-mannered mass lawyer by day, demonic mass wrestler by night. Let's go and hire a mass lawyer, Athena. Look, the statue only has one tail. Maybe it's the nine tails fox sidekick. But the number of tails represents a yokai's power. So if you had two, Apollo, I'd only ha I'd have only one. Wait, what? Not that it means you're better than me. Got it? Like I said, what? <laughs> Something wedged under under this chair. Something we can't lift it up in. Uh, freeze! Yikes! No disturbing crime scene evidence. Even if you are the mayor's lawyers. Does have a point there. Detective Fulbright, did you hear about the attack over on the yokai lane? Here an elderly woman was assaulted by a strange yokai shaped like a roll of cloth. And you wait till wait till now to tell me? I better get over there at once. Injustice we trust! That was surprisingly easy. Okay, Apollo, now's our chance to look around some more. <laughs> the more I get to know her, the scarier she gets. If she never finds my weakness. <laughs> then I'm just kind of fragile inside. Whoever this is, stuck in tight. It's on tight. Ooh. It's like a large bloodstained cloth. It's like a large bloodstained cloth. God, the fact that they both have names that start with an A keeps throwing me off about who's talking. Blood. The blood's probably the alderman's, but it's pretty far from his body. I wonder how it got here. Why does this seem, this seem important? Guess this about wraps it up. If we can only get that detective to tell us what he knows. Hey, Apollo? Do you, do you hear something? Hmm? I don't hear anything. Oh, right. Your hearing, your hearing must not be as sensitive as mine. But my eyes are sensitive. Um, what are you talking about? Whooshing sound, like wind rushing through a narrow strait. And the echo of someone's voice. In. In. Oh! <laughs> Injustice we trust! <laughs> ah! 
Ha-ha! Someone's got a sharp set of ears. That was the sound of my righteous voice reverberating through the air duct. Ah! I heard it through the air ducts? <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs> but why would she hear you through there? Why don't you go to the diagram? As you can see, that vent is connected to an air duct that leads out into the hallway. The wind must have rushed through there and carried my monologue with it straight to your ears. And what a unique monologue it was. <laughs> I was just thinking. Maybe the killer made their escape through the air duct or something. Ha ha ha! A cute theory, but I don't think so. The air duct in the hallway is low enough to climb into. That much is true. But as you can see, the vent in the ceiling is very high. Nine feet high, in fact. I hardly doubt there's any way to get up there without a ladder or something. And I don't see anything of the sort in this room, do you? Hmm. I guess you're right. Speaking of things in this room... Yeah? Can you tell us what you guys turned up to take a Fulbright? Not on my watch, buddy! In the name of justice, I cannot reveal facts pertaining to the prosecution's case! Ah, oh, come on! Throw us a bone here! <laughs> this guy goofy as hell. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright, but I recall you saying, saying earlier that you would come running whenever you were, we were in need. Ah, I suppose I did say that. Helping those in need is what justice is all about. But, but keeping information out of enemy hands is also a form of justice. Hmm. Ah, which justice is the most just? Why is this always so hard? Hmm. Well, how about this? Let's do a little give and take. I mean, serving the public is part of justice too, right? You know, like the police motto? To serve and protect? Doubt leaking information to the defense team falls under the, that motto. <laughs> yes, of course. I must serve and well as... Uh, oh, there's a typo there. I must serve and well as protect. I must, I must serve as well as protect. I, I must serve as well as protect. Okay, I will share some information. In the name of justice! We did it, Apollo! Yeah, we did it all right. But I'm not sure that was entirely ethical. <laughs> All right, tell us the deets, man. Was it Mr. Miss Jinxie Temo who first discovered the crime scene? That's right, and this photo shows what she saw when she opened the door. Miss Tenma had a key, allowing her immediate access. A key? So then the Vox chamber was locked. Yes, and Miss Tenma had the only key to its door. Really? So Alderman QB didn't have a key to the Fox chamber. Actually, he had a master key for most of the doors to them in the manor, but it disappeared after his murder. Disappeared? You think the killer took it? It could have very well be connected to the murder. We're looking into the possibility now. But it's the timing of Miss Tenma's discovery that I think is most important. Of course, I'm not going to share that information with you. Ha ha! You think you're some kind of champion of justice? We're just a plain old mean. I won't fall for that, you shameless rascal. I only help good little boys and girls. For fucking justice. Shameless rascal? Who even says that? Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a good little girl either. <laughs> you're naughty. Naughty. Feathers and tracks. Those feathers and tracks look like something a yokai might leave behind. You don't actually think the murderer was some sort of monster, do you? What's the name of that creature in the forbidden chamber? Tenma... something? Because from the black feathers and big tracks, it looks like that creature did it. Our prime suspect would, no doubt, love to pin the blame on some imaginary creature. Can Tenma, whatchamacallit, even be made a victim of slander? Doubt the mayor would do something his child is just blaming a boogeyman. So the most likely scenario so far is that Tenma guy left feathers and tracks behind to make it look like Yokai Tenma was the killer. Wait, what? Now I'm as confused as you. At any rate, I doubt Mayor Tenma would be would plant evidence like that. So 
so Mertemma is your only suspect? That's right. Even his name, Dem Damien Tenma, makes him sound like a villain. And he's really scary looking too. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that's why he was arrested? Bah ha ha! Don't be ridiculous. He was the only one without an alibi. Oh, is that so? Yup. Other than the victim, the suspect, and Miss Tenma, the only other others around were Mr. Filch and Mayor Tenma's aide, and the two of them were together at the time. Filch, the guy who tried to steal my bracelet. Just living up to his name, I guess. Just could talk to him again when we have a chance. What about Jinxie? She's not being suspected at all. She may have no alibi whatsoever, but she also has no motive. It's unfathomable that she would have murdered the alderman and pin the crime on her father. Besides, do you really think a little girl could lift up this huge spear? True enough. The spear looks even bigger than her. That's about all I can reveal at this time. Well, you must admit, Damien Tenma appears to be the most likely suspect. I admit, it looks bad, but I'm still not buying it. Oh, and one more thing. I must warn you about the prosecutor. Prosecutor signed in Mayor Tenma's trial? Oh god, we're getting somebody new this time? Or is it Clavier? Be Clavier, please. That's the one. He's, how shall I put it? Not what you'd expect. That is unless you've faced a convicted killer serving hard time as a prosecutor before. No, that's definitely not fucking Glavier. Unless I went to jail at some point between now and the last game. I did some hard time, bro. I got arrested for stealing the hearts of too many frog lines. What the? Is this some kind of joke? Yikes. Can I ask why a man in prison for murder is serving as a prosecutor? Because he's mastered the use of psychology in courtroom, courtroom battles. <laughs> oh, really? Huh? Sounds like Brap your alley then, Thena. Everyone's talking about it, this murder, how this murder was the work of some strange creature. But yokai are nothing more than a figment of the imagination. They're baloney! Who better to prove this than a master of psychology? He's the best man for the job. But he's a convicted murderer. No matter how you look at it, that's just insane. Well, the chief prosecutor personally assigned him, so... None of us are in a position to question the matter. Ha <laughs> ha. Really is the dark age of law. What? So, so some guy who's been convicted, did he get out of jail and now he's now he's a prosecutor? <laughs> or something? Or like bring him out of jail for this very reason that I don't I don't know. It's a prosecutor. He wouldn't happen to go by the name Blackwill, would he? Uh, Bingo! Simon Blackwill! So you have heard of him. You could say that. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm getting involved with maybe her case when she was a kid. Well, I bet you don't know his unofficial title. Ever heard of the Twisted Samurai? That's Prosecutor Blackwell. Twisted Samurai? Is that because he's a criminal? Well, yes and no. You could say it also has to do with the effect his crime had on things. How so? His conviction is what twisted and warped the legal world into this dark age of the law. What? And he of all people is going to stand in court tomorrow? Ha ha! Never fear! I myself will be there to protect you! <laughs> That's reassuring, I guess. Yeah, I like this guy so far, it's funny. Well, you kids knock yourselves out. Can't wait to see how you do tomorrow. Wait, Detective Fulbright, I've been meaning to ask you something. Um, why are you barefoot? <laughs> what? Are you serious? This doesn't look like the sort of place where you need to take your shoes off. Hmm? Ha! Ah, ha! Ah! I hadn't even noticed! Why am I barefoot? Honestly, I hadn't noticed until just now! <laughs> oh, wait a second. Those shoes we found earlier. Oh. Excuse me, you taking a Fulbright? This wouldn't happen to be your shoes, would they? Oh, the other guy stole his shoes. Yes, yes they are, my favorite pair in fact! Thank you for bringing them to me. You must truly be on the side of justice! Don't tell me Mr. Filch actually stole from a detective. <laughs> Stealing shoes right off of someone's feet. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Find it more amazing that Detective Fulbright didn't notice. Well, looks like we've gotten all we can out of detective, uh, detectives, so let's see. 
Maybe we should go have a word with Mr. Filch. I want to hear what his alibi is. Okay, April 17th, QB Manor, for your... This is terrible. Ja terrible, I say. Somebody help! Oh, uh, look, it's Mr... Was it? Finch? No, no! Uh, my name is Filch. Fin my name is Filch. Keep on pilfering and you may end up a jailbird instead. So what seems to be the problem, Mr. Filch? Oh, just terrible, ta ta terrible, I tell you. Come quick. Okay. What's the deal with them all, all of a sudden? Oh. It's like some kind of mask. It's the Amazing Nine Tails. Oh, fuck, what? <laughs> right, I kind of forgot what voice I gave this guy. It's the Amazing Nine Tails mask. The Nine Tails mask? All oh, right, the wrestler who appeared during the festival special special event. What was this mask doing here? He'd never take it off his mask like this. So I must have killed him. What? Who would do such a thing? Let's go talk over there in private. Hmm. Look, there's some white hair caught up inside this mask. Okay, it's very clearly that guy who's dead. So. <laughs> So what makes you believe that the Amazing Nine Tails has been murdered? Oh, you really want to know, eh? You're a studious one, ain't ya? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, no, I mean, just, just tell me, please. I was like this. I dreamed of becoming a wrestler myself. Hey, how about you join me in the quest for the champion's belt? What a team! Me and my bandit's mask and you and the demon mask are yours. Demon mask? <laughs> if I could make it big, what if I could make it big? <laughs> Apollo, let's save your progressing debut until after the trial. Huh? Oh, no, no. I, I wasn't actually... Ah! Why did I let him pull me off topic like that? <laughs> Come on, Apollo. Ask him about the amazing Nine Tails murder already. Stop scratching yourself, dude. <laughs> Ew, he's got shit all over in his pockets. He makes Nine Tails off as a savior. And don't you forget it. Ah! <laughs> Yeah! His trademark's a gold cape made to look like nine tail fox, nine fox tails. Pulls through the ring, smacking down t ten more wrestlers left and right. He sparked the monster craze, revitalizing ta nine tails to fail in the blink of an eye. Yep, saved our village from becoming a ghost town. Now it's a yokai town. <laughs> uh, the nine tails really does sound, well, amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? That's why he's worshipped like a hero around here. I'm proud to be from the same village as him. Come to think of it, you kind of... You look kind of like a monster yourself, you Mr. Filch. <laughs> Guess it makes sense that you're from the same village as the Amazing Nine Tails. Yeah, yeah that's a nice thing to say. <laughs> I know, a lot of people have told me I look like a yokai. <laughs> when was that a compliment? <laughs> ah, it's a big idea. <laughs> Check your pocket. Hey, how'd you do that? Keep it, I got lots more. So you keep saying that the Amazing Nine Tails was killed. What's the story behind that? Are you saying he was murdered because his mask washed up alongside the river? The r river outside? That's only part of it. The main reason is no, no one's seen him since the special event. The world around Nine Tails failed as he was killed by Ten Matoro. The villagers are really superstitious, aren't you? <laughs> that we are. We love conspiracy theories too, like the mayor's diabolical plot. The mayor of Tenma Town? Was he plotting? Rumor has it he's planning on releasing Ted Mataro. That's why he wants the merger. He'll open the Forbidden Chamber once he's in control. That's quite a tale. Ain't finished yet. There was only one person who could stop the man. <laughs> Our hero, the amazing Nine Tails. He vowed to battle the mayor of Tenma Town and stop the mun municipal merger. I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. <laughs> Apollo, we still have to ask him about the older. Alderman's murder, right? Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing. Mr. Phillips, would you mind telling us what you were doing at the time of the murder? I was in the caretaker's office, guarding the entrance like Mr. Ku Kyuubi said I should. And I made double sure no one came in. I have a clear view of the foyer from where I work. He must be, ta must be talking about this small room in the upper right. It's got a camera, right? Definitely looks like you can keep track of the comings and goings from there. And you have an alibi to back your statement up, Mr. Filch. <laughs> I do indeed. I was with Miss Mayor Temis. Hey. Flores Le Bell's his name. Oh, well, there's a kill right there. So the two of you together. It's a pretty sad alibi, all right? 
Nobody came in or out of the manor around the time of the murder. Kept watch the the whole time. Didn't see a soul. Souls passed by. And if anyone did, that their security camera would have spotted him. So no one came in or out around the time of the murder. That means we're dealing with someone who was already inside when it happened. So, do you think this mask is the real deal? Without a doubt, this here's the mask worn by the amazing Nine Tails. What about that white hair I found inside the mask? Wait, I just thought of something. Remember the golden animal fur we found at the, the crime scene? Could it have some, come from this mask? Look, there's even a spot where some fur is missing. Hmm. This place this mask at the crime scene at some point, some point in time. Which means... What does this mean? <laughs> Someone with white hair who is linked with the murder and is against the, the merger? <laughs> My god! No way! Could the Amazing Nine Tails and the Alderman actually be? Something wrong, Apollo? See the look on your face. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, it's nothing. Oh, good. I'm glad someone pointed it out because it seems stupidly obvious. Maybe Jinxie could tell us something since she works here. Going for a retest of the Amazing Nine Tails Fox. Oh, mask. Okay. Okay, so we done with you then? Yep, beer to be. All right, all right, bye bye. April 17, Nine Tails Vale, Yokai Lane. Oh, look, there's Jinxie. Milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, men. It's like she's out grocery shopping. She just really like di di dairy products. <laughs> Why is she shaking all the time? A charm to make a better milkshake and another to cure my lactose intolerance. <laughs> she should just stick to soy milk. <laughs> Jinxie, hey, it's me. Eee, it's the, the, the demon lawyer. Ah, ah, not another warning charm. Ah, f ah, my brain. Um, Apollo, who is she? Oh, right. This is your first time meeting each other. Forgot I was with Trucy before. This is Jinxie, Mertema's daughter. She was the first to discover the crime scene. Oh, so she's the one who. Um, hello. My name's Athena. Athena Sykes. I'll be helping Apollo defend your father at this trial. Pleased to meet you. Uh, pl pleased to meet you too. Uh, um, where's Trucy? She went back to the office ahead of us. But don't worry, Athena and I are on the, the case. Uh, you didn't think she was a demon though? Come on, look how goofy she looks. <laughs> Wait, how do I know you didn't? <laughs> the, the, you didn't go gobble her up alive. Relax, I didn't eat her up. I wouldn't do such a thing in the first place. Oh, poor little Trucy. <laughs> I'm ready for some tears of frustration myself. <laughs> She's quite an um interesting character, huh, Paula? Yeah, it's just tends to be the people I run into all the time. All right, give me some goods. Jinxie, do you remember any more of what happened? Not much, at least not yet. But you do think Temataro was the killer, right? <laughs> that yokai we saw at the festival? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Huh? He said Tomatara murdered the Alderman. It's okay, Jinxie, you can tell me- Ow! What was that for? People see things when they don't get enough s sleep. There's no such thing as monsters. Huh? It's gotten into her. So if there are no monsters, you meant I'm human. No, you're still a demon. <laughs> oh, I give up. It's like Jinxie doesn't want to talk about Tomatara for some reason. That's precisely what we need to know about, more about. Besides, you definitely thought that there was a yokai there in the fox chamber. Jinxie, about this charm. Ah, uh, that's... Give me this when I was heading off at, to the scene of the crime. You, th you thought Timotaro was the murderer, so he gave this to me, right? Uh, that's true, but... If there's anything else you could tell us, it would really help. And it will help your father, too. Um... All right, then. No. Oh. Temitara did it? Why do you think Temitara is the killer? I saw him. Saw him with my own eyes. Temitara was right there in the manor. He escaped his prison and ran right by me. What? Jinxie, tell us everything you saw. I called the police after I stumbled on the scene. I was just about to head back to the festival grounds when... I saw Temitaro. It was right around here. He was running right ahead, right at me. I was... I was paralyzed with fear. I'm wondering, was it the same guy that was in the costume earlier? Could it be 
the guy in the costume and that guy that you know we saw kill that other guy with the spear are the same dude maybe he's the one who normally wears the costume but it seems like it'd be way too obvious but there was nowhere no one around to help me uh, and the foul beast raced right by me toward the foyer toward the foyer mr filch and mr labelle were supposed to supposedly in the foyer at the time that means they would have seen Temataro too Sounds like we better get their statements. Considering Chiki's mental state, her eyes could have been playing tricks on her. Um, Apollo? Apollo? Remember the picture in this, this paper? Someone caught Temataro flying through through the air. What if it's the same Temataro Jinxie says she saw? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, Temataro is the killer, and he can fly too. Ah, uh, it's always gotta be a flying dude. Fuck. Why? It's always the fucking flying in these games. It's got the bullshit surrounding it. She works at the Alderman's Manor, so maybe she can shed some light on this. So no one knows the amazing Ninetales' true identity? Uh-huh. They say no one's ever seen him without his mask. Does that make you want to know even more? Uh-huh. That's why matches where, where wrestlers try to expose their opponent are so popular. Wait, you mean expose as in strip them naked? <laughs> You think like a, you think like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting naked. No thing the one to remove the loser's mask. To have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a wrestler could suffer. And that's why their masks are more important to them than life itself. So you see, these unmasking matches are life and death battles for the wrestlers. That means this mask didn't just happen to wash up along the side of the along the riverbank. There's gotta be a story behind it. No one can stop the amazing nine tails. I should be shocked to find out he's really the the alderman. About the yokai you saw at the scene of the crime. Anything else stand out? Actually, I heard the strange jangly sound. A jangly sound? Could you be a little more specific? My memory's kind of fuzzy. But I vaguely recall seeing Temitar holding his staff or something like that. Maybe that's what was making the, the strange sound. Does Temitar usually carry a staff? Good question. I've never heard anything like that, and it's not shown in the, on the scroll. How about in other documents? I even show Temataro with a staff? It's the only known document depicting Temataro. After all, those who need needless to pick... Ah, another typo. Those who needlessly to pick... To pick the demons are forever cursed. Then what's the deal with the Temataro you saw, Jinxie? I think the original fin the other Phoenix Rock games also had, I think, quite a few typos as well, I, I think, didn't they? I guess that's remained the same. Why didn't you tell me you saw Timitar earlier? Actually, Mr. LaBelle told me not to tell. Mr. LaBelle? Papa's aide. Oh, right. The other guy was supposedly in the foyer at the time of the crime. And it's totally the killer. And what actually did he exactly did he tell you? Keep the village superstitions in mind before you go talking about seeing Tembatar at the time of the, the crime. Village superstitions? They say you must not gaze upon Tembatar, but in the ev event that you do look and then tell anyone what you saw, Tembatar will claim your soul. Oh, uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> I wonder why he would stress that so hard. That's thing ev everyone here knows. It's like a bunch of baloney to me. Uh huh. Everyone from babies to the f to the village elders know about it, but I didn't because I'm not from around here. Hey, come to think of it, huh? Why is everyone hiding their faces? Hey, you there! You must have stared at like that. Lower your eyes. He'll steal your soul if you're not careful. Really? Huh? Steal my soul? Seriously? Really? Really? Really, really, really. The guy at the special event thinks it almost the exact same thing. Apollo, do you think this lapel guy actually plays in Temataro? Seriously doubt it. He's not even from Dinetail's Vale. Then why would he try to keep Jinxie from talking? Good question. Then we better go have a word with him. Time to mess this monster of a mystery. Damn, we're just still going. God. <laughs> this investigation section is long. Might end up having to split into two episodes. Last time I saw Mr. Lapel, he was relaxing in the foyer. Bueno! Next up, the the mayor, the manor foyer. If any luck, he'll be with there waiting for us. We were just there earlier. <laughs> Did 
Didn't see him, but okay. God damn. There's a long investigation section. I'm not, and it's like, the thing is, there's, unlike before, where a lot of times there was a lot of bumbling about where I was trying to like examine shit. <laughs> there's not really much of that here. So I don't imagine I'm gonna be cutting a whole lot of this out. So God damn, it's just fucking long. Here we're subtitled, QB Manor for you. There's no one here. So our luck isn't so good when it comes to Mr. LaBelle. Maybe he's out for a walk or something. Hmm, somebody left something on the sill of the caretaker's office window. Oh, it's the TV program guide. Looks like someone circled a pro wrestling match. Timma Town Pro Wrestling, Howling Wolf versus Pretty Boy Vampire. Blow by blow commentary by Timothy Twilight. Oh, <laughs> is he is he also the Pretty Boy Vampire or something? And he has some kind of grudge against him, so he killed him or something. <laughs> killed his uh, would-be opponent, possibly. Hey, what do you think? You, what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, oh, Mr. Filch, what can we do for you? <laughs> She's going to scream monster, which really is much, it isn't much of a stretch. Ain't nothing I, I need you to do for me, but what business do you got, get, you got with my TV listings? Oh, no, it just caught my eye. Can I ask if you watch this pro wrestling program today? Yep, it was a match between a couple of rank amateurs, though. It was a complete disaster. I reckon even I could have done better, better than that. Okay, so this other, this other wrestler, it wasn't the same one, the, the, the Nine-Tailed Fox. Howling Wolf was something different, okay. I seriously doubt that. Almost forgot, there's something I wanted to ask him. Mr. Filch, did you see anything unusual about the time of the murder? For example, Temataro or something like that? Huh? T Temataro? So you did see him. Uh, my, how clean your shi shiny your forehead is again today, Mr. Lawyer, sir. <laughs> Bet you shine it up every day, real pretty like. The ladies must love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't change the subject! Stop talking about my beautiful forehead! And FYI, that was a seriously bad attempt at flattery. <laughs> Jixie says she saw Tim of Tar flee toward the foyer. And so you must have seen it too if you were here. <laughs> y y yipes! Wow, really pushed a button there. Well, did you see anything or not? Uh, hold it. Oh, there is this guy. Oh my, I'm going totally going to get the Max Galactica voice. That is quite enough. I must ask that you not pester my friend anymore. <laughs> Yipes, forgive me for being pestered, sir. Hmm. And you are? I am Flor Florence LaBelle. Oh, oh, oh. Beau, as they say it. Beau Divine and personal aid to Madame Damien Tenma. You divine, more like yokai grotesque. This place is crawling with monsters. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, excuse you. Ah, ah. The heck was that for? Oh, God, it burns again. Oh, it was just a little cologne. You had a, you had a look of sticky sweat about you. It's, it's from my own original brand of cosmetics called Je Suis Le Belle. Oh, what a heavenly scent. Uh, I think you just paralyzed my Ulfer factory receptors. Oh, I suppose to scent would be difficult for a peasant to appreciate. I'll have you know that is brand number five, bonjour. It's my way of introducing myself. Enjoy. Where's my bottle of a deuce so I can return the favor? <laughs> Where's my bottle of fuck you, bitch? Enough about the cologne. Please tell us about what you saw around the time of the murder. Keeping Jinxie quiet. I heard you were the one who told Jinxie not to mention that she saw Temataro. Why, that's little. So she told you she saw the demon, did she? Mr. LaBelle, do you mind if I ask whether you believe in the village superstitions? <laughs> oh, 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 please. I was merely trying to keep with traditions. Nevertheless, I will say this. I wouldn't stick my, my nose into this whole Temataro business if I were you. Bad things happen to those who do. That much is true. He is one scary monster. That's crazy. You really expect me to believe that monsters are real. <laughs> well, you're real, and you should look like a monster. You want to talk, man? Yeah, look, look who's talking. So, Mr. LaBelle, you didn't see Tem- and ah! <laughs> Mr. Jinxie has an active imagination. Is that right, Phineas? That, that's right, I, I didn't see nothing, especially not Ted Mataro. As for me, I only see things of beauty. That's why I can barely see you. 
Yeah, all right. This guy's totally the bad guy. Not that I didn't already realize that from the fucking cutscene earlier, but still, he's an asshole, and I'm gonna fucking curb stomp him. Boom! Got two words for this guy. Suck my dick. Okay, technically that was three words, but still, suck my dick. Total freak. Yeah. Total motherfucker. Can I ask you what you were doing at the time of the crime? In other words, you'd like to hear my alibi. Tis to think you'd suspect me of all people. Oh no, it's just a formality. We ask every- ah -ha! How dare you doubt me? That's an affront to beauty itself. You obviously can't see straight. Ah! Uh, like that sprint's really help- Ah, I can't- Now I really can't see! What were we doing, you ask? Go ahead, Phil Filchy, answer the question. Oh, it's very clear this guy's terrified of him. That's why he's, he's probably lying on his behalf. Uh, at the time of the crime, we were, um, in this here foyer. Exactly. Good answer, Phil. She could answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just repeating what you told me. Ah, you said quite enough. Oh <laughs> my god. Wow. These bad guys are seriously lackluster. Seriously. You guys are like the fucking Phantom Thieves trying to not tell people they're the Phantom Thieves. What is with these two? Great, now he's got me talking like that. I'll be quite through here. I'm very busy man, you know. Alright, well, thanks for your help. So, these two were in the foyer, but didn't see Temataro. Come along, Filchi. Where are we going? Oh, oh alright, gotta, gotta practice some statements for tomorrow. Oh, yikes! My eyes! I'm going to take your own grave with that big mouth of yours someday. What does he mean, practice statements? <laughs> now if... Now... Uh, again, see? Now if would excuse me. God damn, there's a lot of typos in this. Seriously, how the fuck did they miss these? Now, if you would excuse me, it's time to touch up, touch up my makeup. As I tenderly caress my corsage some more. <laughs> Paulo, I know this sounds strange, but Mr. Nobel seems unusually preoccupied with Temataro. Really? I can tell. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. You see, I can read people's emotions from the tone of their voice. You mean you have good ears? You have bulgy ears like my bulgy eyes. Uh, not quite. Something like that. People's emotions are expressed in the tone of their voice. My ears can pick up even on the subtlest of tones for some reason. I mean, honestly, it was pretty fucking obvious, all right? It's an interesting skill. What do you mean he's preoccupied with Temetaro? Not exactly sure, but it was like he was obsessed with thoughts of Temetaro. That's what I picked up from his voice, anyway. Everywhere we turn, it's Temetaro this, Temetaro that. Hmm. We should go talk to the mayor, too. Sounds like a plan. Or t did she say that? When you get to the bottom of that rumor about him wanting to release Timotaro. Still going. April 17th, detention center, visitor's room. Something wrong, Paulo? <laughs> Where'd your enthusiasm go? What am I doing asking the mayor if he has even ever thought about releasing Timotaro? At best, he'll think I'm an idiot. And worse, nah. Worse, he'll fucking exercise me. Oh, he's here. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you. I must trust his partner, Athena Sykes. Oh god, brace yourself, Athena, here it comes. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you, Mr. Temma Taru. Uh, hmm, hmm. Oh yes. I look forward to working with you too. Ah! Uh, I didn't mind Athena calling him by a completely wrong name. Uh, why'd you forget on me and not her? And when, even when I didn't even do anything to you. Paul, it's just as kind and gentle looking as I'd imagined. Lucky for you, after that blunder you just made. Um, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. There are rumors going around about how you want, want to or did set Temetar free. What utter nonsense! Yikes! They always assume the worst of me because of the way I look. But those rumors don't have a shred of truth, I tell you. A little touchy about his appearance, isn't he? What he really needs to work on is his people skills. Tell me! Um, so rumor has it that you want to push the merger through in order to release Temetaru. Of course, that's just a bunch of baloney, isn't it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, sorry, 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 sorry if I offended you. So, that's a talk around town, is it? I can see how that would make you angry. What if Jinxie's schoolmates are start teasing her about this? Huh? 
I must break out of here at once. Her tormentors must be taught a lesson. No, wait. First, we have to get you a not guilty verdict. <laughs> I like it. He's never like angry at me. He just gets like angry about some other totally not related thing. Don't try to stop me. It's about a father's duty to protect his da darling daughter. Hold tight, sweet, sweet Jinxie. Daddy's coming to save you. Daddy's coming. Relax. Look out for your daughter until you, we can get you free. Hmm. Is that so? You don't need me to go straighten things out to myself with my fucking bare hands. Oh boy. I'd probably call in the SWAT team if you showed up at her school. All right. I would ask about the reason behind the merger. Seems like you were rather forceful in pushing for the municipal merger. Do you really want Ninetales Vale that badly? Yes, well, it's quite an attractive prize in terms of tourism. Oh! Wait. Am I feeling what I think I'm feeling? Oh! My eyes? Sure, I played a bit of hardball, but only when I deemed it necessary. I knew it. My bracelet's reacting, yes! Oh, oh, good. good. Yes. yes. Laser, laser time. time. But God, oh, it's the first person perspective. I, if I do lasers, it's not going to look nearly as cool. Shut, Shut up. up. There's no, no excuse. excuse. Do, do it, it, bitch. I'm breaking you out of here. <laughs> what is it, Apollo? Mertemma may not be telling the whole truth. Really? How can you tell? Just like your amazing ears, I've got amazing eyes. People invariably tense up when they lie. That's where my bracelet here comes in. I can sense when the person I'm talking to is feeling tense. Because it begins to feel... Feel tight on my arm. No, no way! You can do that? Wait, so you believe me? Just like that? Sure. Each of us has our own special gifts. <laughs> you know, you and I are kind of like two peas in a pod, really, in terms of abilities. Like, with the, my sight and your hearing, there's nothing that can stop us. Oh, yeah. Athena has a gift, too. Her special sense of hearing. Still, so what do you think the mayor's lying about? I don't know. It's our job to find out. You might look for his, uh, his tell. It's been a while since my bracelet last reacted like this. Let's see if I can, if I still remember how to do this. All right, here we go. First, I touch my bracelet. Right. Let's give it, a, give it a whirl. Yes. yes touch, touch me, Apollo. Apollo. Do, do it. it. Unleash, Unleash your, your big, big bulgy, bulgy eyes. eyes. All right, here I go. Ah. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Oh, uh, I see everything. I see the universe. I am the universe. Arr. Yes, I remember this feeling of intense concentration. Ah. Uh, and that goofy music and seeing the weird swirly shit behind them. Ability to see the smallest twitch, the slyest frown that no one else can see. Now, Maritema was lying somewhere in that statement he just made. And when he lied, a certain habit made itself clear just under his right eye. Just have to shift my viewpoint up to focus on that area. Oh, really? Is it just gonna tell me straight up what it is? Ah, oh, come on! I can figure it out myself, maybe? Yeah. Alright, I've got him now. His tick should appear when he's trying to pull the wool over my eyes. Gotta pour o over every word he says and wait for a stick to appear. And when it does, I'll perceive perceive it. Well, it's quite. Yes, well, it's quite an attractive prize. Must be in terms of tourism. Gotcha! Gotcha! Mr. Mayor, please, you can trust us with the truth. The truth? I don't understand. When you mentioned tourism. Bomb of your right eye started twitching. What nonsense is this? So what if it did? Please tell us more about your merger bid. What more is there to tell? Why were you really seeking to merge with Ninetales Vale? I already told you. Tourism. The monster craze really revitalized the village, making it quite the prize. You really don't trust us, do you? What are you talking about? The village has been hot property ever since that monster craze started, has it not? I think you've yet to realize that what you're saying contradicts the facts. You say that the monster craze really revitalized Nantale's Vale, so... You felt it would be an attractive prize for tourism, but that would contradict this. Oh, but we mentioned here the photo of the hero sparked a monster craze and saved the Nantale's Vale from becoming a ghost town. Take that! It was gonna become a ghost town. The monster craze in Nantale's Vale is a very recent phenomenon. It was sparked when the amazing Nantale's rose up against the municipal merger. The village was practically a ghost town before then. Ah. So you see, you couldn't have possibly seen it as an attractive prize for tourist tourism. What's the real reason why you're your pushed to merge Tenma Town with Ninetales Vale, huh? Well, um... Uh, I... Uh, uh, uh. Boom. 
Nothing can escape my big bulgy eyes. Nothing. Are you tell me the truth now? Honestly, I never wanted to pursue the murder in the first place. But I had no choice if I wanted to protect my darling little Jinxie. Protect her from what? I received a threat. I said either I go through with the merger or my Jinxie dies. What? How awful! Who would do such a thing? I don't know. But whoever blackmailed me must be connected to the murder. Wait, so you think that the blackmailer and the killer could be one in the same? Alderman Cubie was immensely popular, so you have to ask, who would want him dead? The blackmailer who wanted the merger at all costs had all the motive in the world. Well, why go from blackmail to murder? The merger protest won't disappear just because of it. the Alderman was killed. Ah, could it be? What if there was another reason for the murder? Like what? Maybe the blackmailer discovered Alderman's QB's secret identity. His secret identity was a threat to the blackmailer's murder scheme. What do secret identities have to do with anything, Apollo? I have evidence revealing the Alderman's secret identity. It's time to use it. It's time. Check this shit out. Uh, oh wait, right, I get it. It's different from before, now I don't actually, I actually have to click on present here before I can do it. Mertemma, please take a look at this if you would. That's, I see Amazing Ninetales mask. What is the meaning of this? This mask was almost definitely at the crime scene. And there was some white hair inside. White hair? You say, you say. There was but one person with white hair in the manor that day. Why, why, what are you saying? You know which man I'm talking about, right? I talk about Rex QB, the amazing Nine Tails himself. No way! The ultimate was impossible. Wait, come to think of it, Alderman QB was a former pro wrestler. <laughs> God, I know. How seriously, how stupid are these people? God, it's the first person they all jumped to. It's the Black Miller turned killer when he discovered the ultimate secret identity. Um, did I just say that? <laughs> But yeah, the Amazing Nine Tails was a threat to the Blackmailer's scheme. He posed the merger, and as a result, single-handedly sparked the monster craze. Even so, what's the mess to me at the crime scene? There had been an event at the manor, and maybe Alderman QB had taken part in it. Forget my drift. Ugh, this is absurd! Mr. Mayor, do you have proof of the threat that was made against you? Yes, a blackmail letter. Unfortunately, disappeared after the murder. I'd been carrying it around in my briefcase, but now, it suddenly vanished. The blackmailer must have taken it with them after they killed the alderman. Well, at least we've clearly established the killer's motive. Um, Mayor Tabba, visiting hours are over. It would appear this meeting is adjourned. Fare thee well. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Paolo, do you really think the Temma terror that Jinxie saw is the killer? I don't know. All I know is there's no such thing as monsters. What about that newspaper article? Did the killer have purposely freed Temitar to do their dirty work? Oh, come on! There wasn't any Temitar to release in the first place. Yes, but the only suspects the police have right now are the mayor and a yokai. Probably be arguing whether there's a yokai involved in court tomorrow. <sighs> I can already see that look of disbelief on the judge's face. <laughs> yep, exactly like that. Paulo, are you alright? I'm fine! I'm fine! Because I'm Apollo Justice. I'll, um, I think of something. Better because I can't very well say a flying demon was a killer. This at this point, the only thing I know for sure sure is tomorrow is gonna be one doozy of a trial. One doozy. There we go. To be continued. All right. Well, that's gonna be at least two episodes, more than likely. Damn, that was a long investigation. <laughs> oh, I will say I kind of like not having to like investigate too much. I mean, like e examine a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I guess you could probably argue that it doesn't have as much fluff text and it's a bit more linear, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, the investigations are, I think, I feel like regardless have always been the least interesting parts of Phoenix Wright games, you know? So the, the more quickly I can get through it and get it done, I feel like the better. <laughs> Not saying that I hate it. I mean, you, you meet a lot of interesting characters and, I, and the dialogue between them is all fun and good.
but in the end, it was just you sort of like hunting down the thing that made the, the game go forward. And a lot of times, I didn't want all that stupid fluff text, you know? Unless it was something really fucking hilarious, which most of the, most of the time it was, I don't know, most of the time the fluff text is just kind of dumb anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I so far, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this. I, uh, I haven't seen it running any bullshit, but I'm betting it's just gonna have to do with how he's flying in the air, right? It's just, it's gotta be. That's just, that's how these always go. Anything that flies is immediately gonna be stupid, but it's all right, because we'll find out whatever that is next time. I liked the, the new detective. I thought he was pretty funny, and I guess we'll meet the, the new prosecutor next time as well, but anyway, like for if you guys enjoyed this episode and prop for these episodes. Subscribe now. Come and pick your big win. Avoid the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, Stay classy. Oh, oh, I lost it. Oh, get back again. Okay, back to. Oh, wait, nope, oh, can't get it. It's funny, I've been doing this with her since ever since she was a puppy, she just never gets tired. Ne never gets tired of being slid around like this in tug of war. After a while she just she makes her body go limp like, okay now do it, carry me. Sometimes I want to fight back, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Back to sliding again. Woo! Like a little penguin. Yep, you truly are the pickiest of the penguins. You're dar darn tootin', Nico. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.